Hey poker people, this is Sky with SmartPokerStudy.com and this quick hits video will show you how to make a simple pop-up in Poker Tracker 4 and I'm making it at the request of one of my YouTube viewers. And please like this video below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Help me grow, people! So the first question is, why do we use pop-ups? Well, take a look at this full ring MTT. The HUD space at a table is at a premium. You want the most relevant and useful information on the HUD and secondary, but still important, more specific information you should keep within your pop-ups. So you can see um, on my HUD here, this total stat, it does help me to exploit opponents, but I keep even more detailed information on my steel pop-up. So let's take a look at that here. Um, the stats I use to exploit my opponents are all here, you know, regarding stealing, of course. Now, I recommend to get ideas for your own HUD pop-ups by watching poker training videos from myself or from other people. All of these different steel stats right here, you can, of course, incorporate into your own pop-up. But if you just do a Google search or watch some videos, you'll find plenty of other pop-ups that can give you lots of ideas on information that you should use to exploit your opponents. So let's get to creating a pop-up. Well, these are all the steps that I go through in creating a pop-up. Uh, let's just ditch this right now, not ditch it, but we don't need to look at this as we're creating it um, because I've got the directions right here. So the first step to creating a pop-up is within Poker Tracker 4, open up your HUD profile editor. We've got the pop-up right here for us to take a look at. Now, the first thing you want to do is choose the profile that you're working under. This is the 9max MTT profile. And within the pop-up groups, you want to select new group and let's just give it a little name here steel 2 separator I always ditch the separator I keep the padding at a zero and I like to arrange it in a grid and I'll show you the difference between that and not uh, in a grid make it solid keep the background black so those are the basic setup uh, procedures now next you want to enter I'm sorry have a layout in mind and stats to use BAM we've got that right here add text stats set positions colors and overall aesthetic so this is where we come to the actual building see the plus and minus this is where you can add your stats and text and everything add a line I am just gonna make kind of a partial HUD I'm not gonna make the full one. I don't wanna make this video too long for you but the first thing is let's add some text we wanna add just an open space right here now our first column of course is going to be the cutoff position stats next will be the button Now you'll see why we put this little space here right now. So the first stats we're going to be doing is our steel percentage stat. Next stats we'll be looking at are the fold to steel. And then the next would be call steel. Now it's time to select the stats. So what you'll do is do add statistic. Now one of the great things about this feature is you have all your stats listed and you can look at it by, you know, by this trying to trying to find the stats you need or you could just enter your keyword. Now, if you want to make a steel pop up but you're not sure what stats to use, when you search for steel, all the different steel related stats are here for you piece of cake just pick and choose the ones that you want the ones that you need the ones that you see other people use um, you know and then use those stats so of course steal percentage is first up which is um, how come okay there it is attempt to steal now we want that for three different positions the cut off the button and the small blind so those are them right there now we want fold to steal so once again steal and fold to steel. We have that in two different positions, the SB and the BB. And then over here, we want to know call steel. So once again, let's look up steel and call steel. We've got, uh, I put that on three different positions just to see how often the button calls a cutoff steel. And then we have, of course, a few blank spaces. So let's add some text there. And I'm just putting pushing the space bar to add some blank text just to have a, a full space right there. Now, of course, attempt to steal are in these positions only, not in the big blind. Folding to steal, well, you only fold to steals in the small blind and the big blind. You don't really fold in, uh, you know, the button or the cutoff to steals. And then calling steals, of course, are the button, uh, SB, and BB. So now we have all of our stats broken out in different columns by position. So now how do we make this stat reflect just the cutoff position? 
come over here and then choose position cutoff. Now with these buttons you can uh, select more than one at a time. Just hit control as you select the next one. And this is the button of course. And these are all SB stats. SB and these right here are BB. Big blind stats. Great, so now we have all of our stats broken down in each category by position. Now let's do some, uh, you know, set some colors, make things a little aesthetically pleasing, and I'm just going to copy what I currently have. So this whole, I'm holding down control as I'm selecting these. These are all with a nice little gray background. Select the colors up there. Transparent, of course, it's true. Now they're gray. Now I have them set to black, and let's go ahead and change that just so you can see how we do it. Change the foreground color, which is the font, to black. And there it is, right there. We matched it. Now I'm deselecting by hitting control. I like all of my stats to always be centered, not uh, justified to the left. So centered right there. So as stats pop up, they'll be centered within, within the columns. So let's go ahead and make these ones a nice white background with some black font. So the background, of course, is white. Now once we make this transparent, all the numbers disappear because we need to change that font color. So we make those black as well. Let's deselect these so all of our stats, we can put them aligned in the center. And you can see how those ones shifted over right there. Now earlier I told you to use arrange and grid. This is the way I like all of my pop-ups to look. If we take this off, they get kind of ugly right there. No good. So arranging a grid keeps everything in a nice set order for you um, right there. So of course, hit apply is the next thing. And what that does is it saves the stat for you or you know the pop-up for you, it saves it, and it allows you to keep working. So what we want to do next is go to table groups. This is the, uh, the player stats that we're looking at. Here's the attempt to steal. Now, within the HUD, every time you click on it, the pop-up should pop up. So let's set the pop-up to be from no pop-up currently, let's change it to the steal to pop-up. So now every time we select, um, or every time we're looking at our HUD and we hit steal, that steal to pop-up that we just created will be the one to pop up, uh, which, is, which is great. Now we have some additional information that we can use to exploit our opponents. So here are the directions again. So what I want to do, what I, what I want to say though, is that this is only the beginning. Next comes dedicated practice at using your new pop-up. Having the numbers there for you is worthless if you don't use them to exploit your opponents in game. So play some dedicated focus sessions where your focus for one hour and over one or two tables is to use that pop-up for every hand you're dealt. Even if you're dealt, um, you know, like Jack Deuce under the gun, use the pop-up. If we're talking about a steel pop-up, even under the gun, and you know you're going to fold, take a look at the buttons uh, steel percentages, the small blind and BB's steel and fold percentages. Take a look at that just to familiarize yourself more with that pop-up. The more you use it, the more familiar you become, and the more you'll be able to maximally exploit your opponents. So, um, well, you know, I guess that kind of ends this basic pop-up creating uh, video for PT4. If you have any questions or requests, please let me know in the comments below, and I might make another video just for you. If you found any value at all in this video, please like it below and subscribe to my channel. And even better yet, share it with a friend. I would really, really appreciate that. Uh, please visit me at smartpokerstudy.com, tweet me at smartpokerstudy, or send me an email to sky at smartpokerstudy.com. And until next time, study smart, play hard, and make your next session the best one yet.